Miles Murphy is a very fascinating player. He's an edge rusher out of Clemson uh, who is currently ranked 17th on the consensus big board and some uh, mock drafts have even had him as high as fourth overall, although 17th, again, that's the consensus. That's how most people view him. But how good is he really? Is he a player who can legitimately play in the NFL? Uh, well, Let's get into it, starting off with some stats, and then we'll get into some film. So right off the bat, his numbers are concerning. And again, these are things that translate well to the NFL. PFF grades and pass rush win rate, uh, run stop rate, those things translate well to the NFL. People who do well in these stats are good NFL players. People who don't typically aren't good NFL players. Of course, exceptions to every rule. Maybe Murphy is the exception. But as of right now, right off the bat, it's going to concern you. I think another thing that concerns you is he's gotten worse in terms of PFF grades. You look at the, on the left side of the screen, each year he's been in college. He had a you know 85.2 grade in 2020, but then steadily declined uh, with you know basically the exact same grade in 2022 and in 2021. Bit of a concern there. You also just look at the, the numbers to the right. Uh, you know, uh, you can also see the percentile by, you know, the, the little dot on the bar, the further towards the right it is, the better it is among college players, and nothing really jumps out at you. I mean, a sub-80 pass rush grade and a closer to 70 than 80 run defense grade is concerning. Uh, a not too impressive pass rush win rate at 14.3 and a downright mediocre run stop grade at the college level. Uh, of being 6.2 for the run stop rate. That's concerning, and that's something that you don't love to see. So right off the bat, I value this stuff. This matters to me. I have a concern about it. I just do. However, time for tape, right? Got to go in with an open mind, pay attention to that stuff. But, you know, I actually always start my evaluation looking at tape before I look at any of that stuff just to try to, you know, uh, get a completely unbiased view. I tend to look at as little as possible other than just who's the list of players who people are talking about as good prospects. So, uh, you know, there's some nice things on tape. There really is. Something like this, he's going to get a bit surprised with the tight end who's going to uh, be chipping him on this play. It's going to actually be a pretty uh, well-blocked play, I would say. Watch, look at how, you know, he got Murphy. Listen, I don't hold that against him at all. That happens, uh, you know, really just a, a good job by the tight end, not holding it against him. But here's where Murphy can, you know, I think be a, an exciting prospect at times because, you know, uh, he is someone who his size jumps out at you. He's only 21 years old, but he's 6'5", 275, huge guy, and... I think that what's surprising is he does have pretty good footwork for his size. Like, watch him get out of this situation. Watch him pull off that spin move, and he eventually gets to the quarterback. Unfortunately, doesn't make the tackle, but still, that's something that's impressive to me. Him having that footwork at 275, okay, you have my attention, and I can see why people like him so much. However, going over here, it's one thing to have size, but you have to do something with it. You do. You have to be able to you know, succeed with that kind of size. And I don't know if he's necessarily done that so much. Something like this, one-on-one -on -one matchup against a left tackle. Again, if you're talked about as being a mid-first round edge rusher, I want you to win these relatively consistently. However, watch how on this play, it looks like he, you know, I mean, never really even got hand placement whatsoever on the tackle. And that's important, right? We talk about having hands matters. And while a lot of people think, okay, let me get the athlete. I'll teach him how to, you know, use his hands later. Sometimes it's not a not knowing thing. Sometimes it's just, you don't have, you know, you're not as good at that stuff, right? Like it's, you know, almost like teaching someone how to swing a baseball bat. There is only so much teaching you can do. So maybe you can get him to grow in that department, but I wouldn't bank on it. It's not something that typically happens. I would assume that he is going to be the player that he is, and maybe you can get small improvements because that's typically how it works. Like something like this is another example where, again, it's going to be a one-on-one -on -one matchup. He's once again going up against the left tackle right here, and watch what happens. Right when this play begins, Murphy is going to, you know, he gets his left arm kind of on that right uh pec area of the almost almost on the shoulder area actually of the tackle this is what he does I mean he likes to you know stick that left arm out sort of do that stab uh move and just just push I mean use his power and his size to his advantage and listen 
for someone his size, I totally get it. But here's the thing. You have to be able to win these in college because in the NFL level, you're just not going to be able to overpower guys like that. So in college, I want you to want to see you really kind of dominate when you do these types of moves. And as you see, he doesn't really do that. So while there's certainly things to like, he does end up getting a tip pass out of it. So there you go. But there's certainly things to like about him. And I'm not trying to completely you know hate on him because there are times when he does this and he does win, but he's just not that consistent of a winner. And he does feel like someone who is a bit one of these, you're drafting based on talent you're hoping he's the next Rashawn Rashawn Gary but there's concerns in doing that there's other players in this draft class who are very similar to Miles Murphy in that sense which is there's someone you're hoping can be a better player than they are right now and in certain positions I actually am totally fine with doing that like for quarterbacks for example basically every quarterback you're hoping gets better because like no quarterback is NFL ready pretty much with you know few notable exceptions uh you know the edge rusher position you get guys who are pretty much NFL ready every year and so for Miles Murphy the fact that I don't think he is NFL ready is a major red flag for me. It just is. It reminds me a bit of the Trayvon Walker conversation that we had. Uh, again, Murphy has shown much more in college than Tra Trayvon Walker had. And, you know, while I'm a little bit concerned about the fact that his uh, grades have, uh, you know, not been, uh, they've you know gone down, he does have an 85 grade on his record. That's not bad. And even a 79 grade, we're not talking about a terrible grade here. I mean, we're not talking about a great one either. So like, you know, I'll, I'll say it right now. I still think that, you know, if you draft him in the first round, sort of a late first round pick, I get it, especially if it's a position of need. I don't hate that selection. Personally, I would not draft him as a mid first rounder. I just don't see him as that caliber of player. Again, my mindset when it comes to drafting is be a bit risk adverse. Don't try to fix guys when there's guys who are good, who are legitimately players you feel strong about, uh, and you don't think that you, you know, you don't have to fix. That's kind of the, the mindset here. And I would say this is a weak edge rusher class, in my opinion. I think it's gotten some hype, but I actually have been underwhelmed by the, you know, defensive line class in general. I don't think is spectacular. So he's still, you know, he's going to be on my top 10 list of my favorite edge rushers, spoiler alert. He's just probably going to be a little bit lower on that list than some other people might have him on your list. And again, a lot of this comes down to what do you value? Because I totally acknowledge I would have missed on Rashawn Gary. And I actually think that if you're someone who evaluates this stuff, I think it's good to say, okay, who are the players that I'm okay with missing on? What are the situations where I'm okay with saying, you know what? Every now and then that archetype is going to work because people don't draft someone that has no chance of working, right? You typically think that when you draft someone in the first round, there's a reason to like them. What are the you know reasons that some people like about a specific player that you're not going to value as highly? And for me, it is kind of this, uh, you know, getting impressed by what someone is instead of getting impressed by what someone does. I'll make a money ball comparison. I won't get too far into it because I know football is not the same as baseball. We all know it. We're all very well aware. But, you know, one of the things Billy Bean famously said uh, when talking about uh, a certain player uh, who people were concerned about his weight was, we're not selling jeans here. What can you do? What do you accomplish? And while it's different in football because weight actually is a definitive benefit. Like that actually is something that matters. It is a physical position. I don't discount the fact that, you know, having athleticism, having weight on you, being strong, that stuff does matter. The fact that he wasn't able to dominate at the college level means that he probably will not dominate at the NFL level. But again, there have been a couple of exceptions, but I try to not chase the exception, which is why I would probably not draft Miles Murphy unless other teams felt the way that I felt about him and he happened to fall uh, to, you know, later on in the draft, then I would consider it. But yeah, those are my thoughts on Miles Murphy. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? Let me know in the comments below. Because again, I don't hate him as a prospect. I really don't. I'm just lower on him than others. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Always love hearing from you. And of course, as always, thanks for watching.